Okay, uh, so we've done the different types of graphs. We've done a lot of different things. Now we're on to our next step, step here. We're doing tangent and cotangent graphs today. Um, I would say that these are probably the ones that students do the worst on. So if you're struggling with this, hopefully this video helps you get everything under control. So some quick reminders about a tangent graph. Let's just do the basic one first instead of trying to change it. Tangent graph, when we make a tangent graph, we're always going to do just a basic xy graph. It's going to look just like that. Uh, period length of a tangent graph. Period length of a tangent graph is going to be 1 pi. Period length is 1 pi. So, then I'm not trying to get into that yet. So, period length is 1 pi. When we start a tangent graph, it's going to start on that middle line, and you're going to have two asymptotes involved with it. Okay, you're going to graph three things. Okay, you're going to graph three things with tangent and cotangent. You're going to have an asymptote line, you're going to have a graph in the middle, and then you're going to have another asymptote line. For both tangent and cotangent graphs, that's going to be the basics. So if I'm graphing this tangent line, tangent graphs start in the middle. Okay, so there's the middle of my graph. That means I'm going to have an asymptote line on both sides of that dot. So one over there and one over there. And then a tangent graph will go up as we go. The period length here, the pi, will tell me that's how long it is to go from one asymptote line to the other. So we're going to use our brain a little bit. If this middle dot is at zero and the full period length is one pi, that means I need to go half one way and a half the other. So it's going to be half a pi to the right, and I'd have to go half a pi to the left. Because this place right here is at zero. There is my tangent graph. Okay? The other one that goes with it would be cotangent. So if I'm graphing cotangent of x, same idea. We're graphing three things. We're graphing an asymptote line. We're graph doing a graph. Cotangents are going to go down. And then another line. It looks like that S curve that we did first semester. Um, but a cotangent graph is going to go down instead of going up. So again, we're going to do our basic line. Our period length is still 1 pi. The difference between cotangent and tangent graphs, though, on tangent graphs, where we start with a point, cotangent graphs are going to start with an asymptote line. So right on this middle line, I'm going to have an asymptote at 0. So again, three things. I've got an asymptote line, a point, and an asymptote. Right now, I've got this in it so far, so I need to graph the other asymptote line. So if this one is at 0, and the full period length is 1 pi, my other line needs to be at 1 pi. That means I'm going to have a point in the middle. And that point in the middle is going to be at pi over 2, because it's halfway there. So then the last thing I'm doing, I'm going to graph my cotangent, so it's the S-curve that starts up and goes down. Okay, so tangent graphs. Tangent graphs start in the middle, and then our one period length is uh, 1 pi and the graphs go from down to up, while cotangent graphs start with an asymptote. Uh, then the period length is 1 pi, and we start up and go down. Some of the key reminders that I use to remember these things. Tangent graphs. If you're going tanning, if you're going to go tanning, if you're going to go tanning, you're going to eat less pi. So as opposed to the other graphs that were 2 pi, if you're going to go tanning, it's only going to be 1 pi. You're going to eat less pi because you're trying to get in shape. So you're going to only have one pi. The second thing I remember is if I'm going tanning, I'm going to tan the middle of my body. So at the middle of my graph, I'm going to make a point. You would look really dumb if you went tanning and you didn't have the middle of your body tan. So we're going to start with the middle. And then the third thing we remember about tan graphs is if you are going to go tanning, you start off being pale. So you're going to start off low, and as you go, you get up you get more tan. So the graph starts low and goes up. Okay? Those three things will help you remember tangent graphs. Eat less pi, so just one pi for period length. You start in the middle because you need to tan the middle of your body. And then the third thing is tangent graphs get more tan as you go. If you have other questions, we'll do more examples, but those are the basics of tangent and cotangent graphs.